All right, ready? Yeah, I'm up for it. Let's do it. Here we go. Loading game session. Okay, so let me start talking about some of the stuff that I was also saying earlier. Yeah. Okay, so there's like three key components to Assassin's Creed and like if you want to be a good player all you have to do is improve those three areas and those three areas are abilities well you know in general like usage and understanding of how they work the second area is free running which is also like incredibly important because that's like half of your skill <laughs> when you don't have yeah. when you don't have abilities all you have is is your skill and one half of it is free running. Okay, and the final thing, which is the other half half of your skill, which is not abilities. Abilities is not skill. <laughs> it's just abilities, all right? Yeah, and, all right. Like the other half is stealth. Stealth is supposed to be supposed to be like the key element on the Assassin's Creed series, but yeah. as I said, it's only half of it. It's not really like the whole thing. A lot of people complain yeah. because they say like, Oh, you're playing like su such a douchebag and you're doing this and this and blah 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 and you're only running. But the thing is that free running is also a core part of Assassin's Creed and it has been like that since like the first game. So, That's true. Yeah, like people who say that, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, I'll so tell you right now, my weakness is probably the free running out of all those three you mentioned. The free running, definitely. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it was like the same for me. Like, honestly, in ACV, I kind of sucked <laughs> when it comes to free running. I, I didn't really know, like, what I didn't even know what free running was, like, at all. I only knew how, how to walk around and rarely <laughs> it turned uh, just, you know, high profile in, in order to do something. But yeah. after I started watching, like, some channels on YouTube, especially, I, I would say, like, maybe. Magnitude X and AV Santos, which were like the first two that I watched. I, st yeah. I started watching and I was like, oh shit, how do they do these cool things? Like, they wall eject and they do blah blah blah. <laughs> and I was always like impressed, you know? Yeah. So I, I Well, I get impressed by watching everyone out there and it's, it's hard. Like, some people actually mention the claw kind of method, but I'm not very familiar with that. Do yeah. you know what I'm, I'm talking Yeah, I know. Claw. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I couldn't understand that last bit you said. The claw? Like, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't uh, know if it's like a different... Do you mean like... No, I, I don't know if you're talking about the, the hook blade from ACR? I'm not sure either, but I, this is just something I heard, so... What, don't what take my word for it. No, yeah, but what do you hear? Um, like, a, a different, maybe, control configuration? I don't know. Hmm, maybe. Well, well, I don't think that you can actually change like the bottoms on Assassin's Creed. Well, uh, well, yeah. I, I don't remember. I think you can't. I, may, on PC, maybe you can, but uh, here I don't think. Anyway, yeah. the thing is that the free running kind of sucked on Assassin's Creed Revelations due to the hook blade, because yeah. it, it would always mess up your wall ejects. I, uh, do you know how to wall eject? Uh, uh, no. I, I don't know what a wall jack is. Oh, okay. is that what you just did? Like just jump? Yeah, yeah, ja yeah. Just jump while you're climbing a wall. You can also do a wall drop. Well, that's why I call it anyway. People have their own names. But basically, it's this. L look at me. Uh, which one's you? I am the the. Oh, right there. All yeah. Right. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Yeah. The, I will say that that's also part of free running. That's one way you can stun your pursuers, you know? Can you uh, actually? Yeah. Huh. If you drop and you have... If you climb like that and you drop and if you have your pursuer locked... Well, it, it has... How do you only do it for that little bit? Like, I'm trying to just do that halfway thing. I don't know how to do it. But uh, all you have to do is climb and... As soon as you begin climbing, you press the B button. Oh. Yeah, so... Okay. The idea is that... Uh, well, it has something to do with lag. 
But it is that when you do that, you have like one or two frames that you're invincible when, when you drop. When you reach the ground, you have a few frames that you're invincible. And because of lag, those two or three frames actually turn into five or six frames. Or, so, or even more, depending on, on, oh. on, on how laggy you are. Because the laggier you are, the more invincible you will be. Or huh. not necessarily you, but if the other guy is also laggy, it works pretty much the same way. And because of that, uh, you can stun people by doing that. Uh, people who play Assassinate uh, know a lot of, of tricks like that, and they pull them up like all the time. I don't play Assassinate, so yeah, like my free running is not all that good, but I do know some tricks and <laughs> just by watching people do them. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Oh, whoops. I, for some reason, I keep looking at you, but I accidentally just bad habit. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Okay, so let's just start with abilities, right? As I said, yeah. of course, we're not gonna learn like all the abilities <laughs> right now because, yeah. yeah, like, not all the abilities, they are like, like the ways to use them, they're not all that basic. Some of them are like really advanced and you have to, it's, it's prefer, preferable that you learn other stuff, for example, rerunning and stealth, before you begin learning like the advanced usage. For example, I don't know if you saw a video where I use wipe and knives at the same time. Uh, have, have you seen that? Um, pause. I, I don't, I'm not well, sure. Well, I, I will show you. I will show you now. Uh, stay there. Look at me. All right, so look at this. Do you see that? Yeah. You saw what I just did? Okay, so regularly, uh, you wouldn't be able to throw wipe and knives at the same time, like un unless you time it properly. Uh, it doesn't really come out that easy. After you you're used to it, of course you do it, and <laughs> yeah, like after you master it, you can do it like on real gameplay. But for starters. Trying to learn to use wipe and knives usually is not that easy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna teach you that kind of stuff now, but eventually I will. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's get started with some of the basic abilities and the basic figure theory behind abilities themselves. Okay, so well, you know, abilities. You have the general concept. It's just like some special trickery that you can use to to either fool your pursuer and stun them or or you fool your target and kill them not necessarily fool but sometimes they have like some effects like spy crackers and yeah like those are not necessarily based on deception but they also work okay yeah. so in this regard i like to to classify abilities in three categories i would say like they're the three main categories of abilities you have stealth abilities and you have well effects <laughs> or trigger effect abilities such as smoke bomb or firecrackers meaning like yeah. every ability that is not based on deception basically is a i would say it's a trigger effect like it triggers something on the environment either that's true yeah I like morph yeah, either a smoke bomb. No, well, but morph is a bit different because morph is based on deception. Like you. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. yeah, you want to fool your pursuer into thinking that you are one of the of the copies. You see. Yeah. But uh, with with firecracker, it's not like that. Firecrackers all actually does something. It does something to your pursuer. It breaks breaks their lock and blinds them. So you know it, it has an effect on your pursuer. Mm -hmm. And the other category of abilities, which is not stealth and and trigger, as I like to call them, is uh, movement, movement abilities. In this case, I think it's that will only apply to to teleport, because I think it's the only ability that does something like that. On, yeah. pre on previous games, you had uh, sprint boost and charge. With well, charge also was like a trigger effect. But yeah, like they, they they move your character in one way or the other. Whereas in this game there's only teleport. The only and one advantage about uh, movement abilities is that all of them cancel knives. 
Like, if you get hit by knives, you can always, like, cancel them out by using a movement ability. So, like, if you use teleport or sprint boost or charge in the previous games, you would, you would move, you know? You would cancel the knives effect. <coughs> yeah. But, yeah, here it's, like, only teleport and... For canceling knives, it's not that useful because teleport takes some time to activate. And that's awful. And here we're just gonna have fun humping a wall because we can. <laughs> How do you do that? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, those. Yeah, that's also part of the skill part of Assassin's Creed. You need, to, <laughs> you need to know how to make fun of your opponents. <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> what? Like, like when you're hanging from somewhere, all you have to do is uh, press down, press down on your on your stick, repeatedly, of course. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's, that's the best test so far. There we go. Right there. <laughs> yeah, right there. Right, eh? Yeah. Like, learn who's the boss. Wait, wait. So you have finished first. For a second, I was going to try to get on top of you and just try to do it there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we continue, let's, let's just wait for the next game to begin. All right.